Hi, Scorpio, it's me, Alex. How y'all doing? I'm here to bring you your bonus reading of salts. Let's see what the universe has for you. All right, Scorpio, what do you need to know? I'm hearing trail, trail, blazing a trail, um, your path. What do you need to do next? Uh, so I guess you're looking for direction from the universe. All right, let's see what we got. All right, come on, Mercury. You're just going to drag your ass right on back into regular direction, aren't you? Scorpio, dear God, angels, universe, what do we need for Scorpio? Okay, we need lots of shuffles tonight. Angels just said, well, it's going to be good. That's why. Okay, we got the lovers. Do I need to put that back? We got the three of wands. Yeah, put that back. All right. If you're so mighty, the lovers will still come out. All right. This one first. This one second. Oh. Okay. Well, would you look at here? You're a perfect person, your perfect match. Angels are also saying clear direction to your bag. Power couple, king and queen of pentacles. Uh, this is your moon placement, which cancer is ruled by the moon. So that purpose, queen of cups represents your heart, Scorpio, which says to me that your heart is activated. Oh, yay. But you still feel stuck and you're looking for some guidance and directions on next business venture. Okay, okay. So it sounds like, it feels like you guys are, oh shit. See what I'm saying? It came out anyway, not with that deck, but it came out anyway, Scorpio. All right, listen. I don't know who's up there, Abraham, Ted, Lawrence, whoever's up there. Y'all be giving the Scorpio these powerful ass readings. All right, guys, I'm going to try to stay in my body this reading, okay? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at all these pentacles. First of all, Scorpio, I'm hearing that you have a job coming up. You have a new job, a new opportunity, a new financial venture. You have the Hierophant, excuse me, what in the hell? Is the Hierophant close by? You have the Judgment card here twice. That's Martian energy. So, yeah, because you're stagnant. Some of you guys are still stuck. Now, I don't feel like this is stuck per se. I feel like this is being in a holding pattern, right? Like you're waiting for that universal timing. The Judgment card says to me that... Those, that's the angel sounding those horns. So I'm hearing it's time. Okay, thank you. You have the star card here with the king of pentacles. This is stardom, by the way, right? Because the king of pentacles is set, right? That's that arrival at financial stability, okay? A lot of you guys are hoping, wishing, praying for financial uh stability as in i need this job right i also need them to give me a very handsome salary right i need this product to take off i need this project to work i need this venture to work okay i feel like here with the page of pentacles and the four of cups that's you by your tree scorpio Sorry, one of my loud neighbors just came through the neighborhood with his car, which sounds amazing, by the way. So you're under your tree. You're ignoring to an extent what's around you because you are focused on your money and your financial stability. You know what? 
I'm also here. Look, you got the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So a lot of you guys, as an example, um, okay, thank you. This is speaking to two different Scorpios. This is for those of you guys to an extent who are financially established, right? You're starting to see a return on investment. You're very comfortable financially. But then even though you're comfortable financially doesn't necessarily mean you still don't have goals and things you want to achieve, right? Not only that, but you could be um, financially comfortable as the queen and still want to get to the king status. That's okay, right? So that makes sense to me as far as why, as Angel said in the beginning, blazing a trail, they need direction on how to go from queen status to king status. And I'm only using that to represent progress, right? You know what I just heard? Mm. Believe in the impossible. <laughs> Angels sit down getting the chills. Jesus, God. All right, could y'all start the... Well, I don't want to say warm me up because then I'll start getting damn hot flashes. Anyway, Scorpio, let's focus. Okay. You have the queen. Okay. So here's you. here you are. Here's you are. That's not good. Here you are, maybe from a corporate standpoint, right? Your job. This is what you want to achieve outside of corporate. Oh, okay. So you're, you're, yeah. Okay, yeah, good. Keep going. So now you have the Queen of Cups and the Lovers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, a lot of you guys are, who are, again, financially stable. You just met somebody or will meet somebody soon, right? Because you have a power couple here on the table, but this portion represents your heart. So it's almost like you are trying to up the ante financially and in the meantime, the universe is going to send you with this lover, lover. Mm, Lord. All right. Okay. Whatever you decide, God, I'm all for it. And you're kind of, I'm hearing the word perplexed. Because it's like, well, damn, what do I do first? Should I ignore my heart and go for my coins? What do I do? You got the sevens here in, in both placements, which basically says you're preparing and you're readying. Right now, are you going to oh, are you going to push off your heart for your finances? And that's the decision you have to make. Wow. You're going to get a financial offer. And with this four of cups, that's all you focus on. I mean, literally, Scorpio, love is amazing. Don't get me wrong. But money is amazing, girl. Okay. Especially, yeah, if you achieve King of Pentacles status. This also says to me that you're ready for love. You're ready to meet your equal and better half. This also says to me that a lot of you guys who were ignoring, you know, I'm just focusing on my coins, Alex. I just need my bag. Well, baby, the universe sent you 18 fucking bags. Okay. Now the universe is like, okay, Scorpio, what you going to do, right? Angels just said to me to be careful about this because I just heard it's an interference. But Scorpio, you ain't no fool. That's why you sitting here up under the tree, ignoring the good times, focusing on this offer, right? Ooh, I also, yeah, I also heard too. <laughs> I also heard too. That it's like love is good, but um, you let this job come through and I'm going to sit them cups right to the side because I know this is God giving me what I wanted and what I asked for. Ooh, Scorpio, this is interesting. You know what? I want to do a third row uh, clarifying. I didn't do that in a long time. This is Taurus. That's Capricorn. This is Cancer, this is Gemini, that's Aries and Scorpio, right? And then this is Pisces, this is Aquarius. So you got a hodgepodge of people here. 
Um, air, earth, and water. No fire, no fire, no wand. Okay, you got the seven of wands there, but not a seven court card. Okay, not only that, but angels also just brought to my attention too, you know, that staff or whatever it is, a, a plow, a hoe, or whatever it is that he is leaning on, right? So that kind of says to me too, that at least for right now, again, kind of going back to the hanged, the hanged man, the hanged man's energy is that, yeah, a lot of you guys are right now trying to figure it all out. Like, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this going forward? But there's also a soft warning, a beautiful warning, right? That kind of says to me, be careful about, say, for instance, being too rigid or getting stuck in this financial sector and in this financial place. That's to an extent why this emotion came along as well. Not to see if we could throw you off track, Scorpio, but to an extent to test your balance. Ooh, ooh, universe, savage. Angels just said, pull this card off. Yeah. You guys are um, in the Eight of Cups. Yeah, the Eight of Cups is behind it. You guys are used to, as an example, when love doesn't work out, you focus on your coins. You're used to that, Scorpio. It's almost like, you know what? And I've said it to you in previous readings. It's like, if this relationship doesn't work out, let me go in and create this like, business real quick like Scorpio that's your energy and that's okay but I do kind of feel too especially with this lover's card the universe is introducing this monkey wrench right to see if you'll do exactly that Scorpio if you'll yeah push all of these to the side and focus on one so it's almost like maybe the universe is trying to distract you by love to see and reinforce those lessons it taught you about balance. All right, let me do my third row. Queen of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles, that's being financially set. And I feel like, again, that's speaking to those of you guys who are living comfortably. You are financially good, good right now. And you have love, maybe you got a beautiful lover in your life, but for some reason, blech, it just still doesn't feel like I'm doing anything. I still feel stuck and I need to figure out how to get unstuck. This financial is going to come along and that's what's going to be, that's what's going to test you. Because I do feel like this freaking financial offer is amazing. It's something you might have been working on or planning for. But again, be careful about this seven of wands. About being like, oh, baby, I got to call you back because I, I got to talk to this person. They, this about a job. And then you don't ever call them back because now you all excited. You starting to get your clothes ready for your Skype interview. Right? Like, mm -hmm. be careful, Scorpio, about landing again on one side and then just staying there. Okay? Because I feel like, again, this energy here is saying, okay, you got it all, Scorpio. But even though you have it all, you, you, you still feel like something's off. And you're looking for universal guidance. And here, yeah, this is you looking for universal guidance. It's like where, where it is, Jesus, Moses, Curtis. <laughs> Sorry. All right, third bro. Come on, Alex. Stop your shit. Okay. See what I'm saying? You know what? I'm hearing a rap song. I can't, um, thought I told you that we won't stop. Thought I told you that we won't stop. <laughs> Puffy. Oh, he's called P. Diddy now. And, um, I'm from old school Puffy. Um, but yeah, you still, you're not stopping. Financially, you're not stopping, Scorpio. I, I wish somebody would think they're going to come along and stop you from getting your coins. Y'all are, again, y'all are just have this dream of financial security and financial stability. And yeah, you should. Everybody should, I think. Like, who wants to be freaking working in their 60s or 70s or, God forbid, 80s? Now, you could work, like, as a pastime to get out the house. 
but you know because you ain't get your finances in order no judgment but yeah anyway um with the star card you also have you're hoping so a lot of you guys if you haven't met this person you're also hoping for this beautiful love too angels just also said to me too in pursuit and i just had a reading with someone too and just told them that in pursuit of working on whatever this financial goal is on the way to the king of pentacles you will have you have this dream and this hope and i feel like a wish is going to be fulfilled so on the way to securing your financial future you're going to meet the love of your life oh yes uh, thank you remember guys this is a general reading so i may have like freaking 19 different messages just take them as they resonate I try to make it one long story, but these days, I don't know. It's just like, listen, whatever comes up is what you guys get. There is Her Highness, the High Priestess. This is just reinforcing, again, a lot of you guys are looking for clear, direct communication from the universe on how to get, get you out of stuck hood ship. And by the way, Scorpio, I know you guys had a bunch of incredible readings lately. I know there's still a bunch of you out there that still feel stuck and that's okay, right? Again, these readings are not going to resonate with everybody. I mean, as an example, my readings get what, 10 or 15,000 people who view them? 10 or 15,000 Scorpios is not going to resonate with this message, okay? It would be cool. All right. Anyway, um, so yeah, I do feel like, yeah, this is for everybody, but specifically those of you, got, those of you, those of you who are stuck, you will have some sort of universal intervention or universal message that comes to you to help unstuck you or unstick you, okay? Angels just said to me that this message is going to be the message and the guidance that you were looking for. Remember I said in the beginning of the reading, you guys were needing direction or guidance on what direction to take. This page of pentacles is that guidance, is that direction, is that message, okay? Not only that, but once you get it, right? Once you get the job, hey, you're going to figure out, okay, cool, okay. This seven of pentacles, yes, is analysis, one, one aspect, right? But it's also planning. It's also saying, okay, I got 20000 in my bank account. I need to get to 40000 by like quarter one. How are we going to do that? Will this job help me do that? Will this opportunity help me do that? So yeah, partnership with the universe. The universe does one half and saying here, then Scorpio, you have to be the beautiful money manager that says, all right, here's what we're going to do with this beautiful gift. Angels just also said to me too, for some of you guys, this is going to be a Hail Mary. As in that notification is going to come in at the right time. And I need to be clear, uh, Scorpio. I feel like a lot of you guys are only focusing on one thing. Some are focusing on money. Some are focusing on love. And whether you're focusing on love or money, who cares? We don't care. It's okay, right? No, no harm, no foul. But again, be careful about that rigid or, or, you know, that rigid focus. Remain open, okay? Remain open to all of your blessings. Not only that, but with the Seven of Pentacles too, yeah, be careful about, um, again, focusing too long on one thing. Oh, you know what I just heard? This is not going to uh, resonate with everybody, but I just heard it. I remember I said this is a job opportunity. I feel like for those of you, as an example, who could be leaving a job or wanting to leave your job or put in your notice or whatever the case is, they're going to come and throw more money at your situation that may bump your ass up to an ungodly amount just to keep you. Just to keep you. Okay. But is that what you want? For some of you, yeah. Damn, I had to leave. I had to quit this bitch in order for y'all to realize how much I meant to y'all. Yeah, I mean, shit, it's a, it's a negotiation tactic. What do they say? I always say to people, call your, your uh, providers 
like your cell phone provider, your cable provider, your internet provider, and try to cancel your account. They start throwing all kinds of rewards at you like, please don't go. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is a new opportunity that's going to help you plan and get to your king of pentacles status, male or female. But for others of you, when you're trying to move away from your current position into something else, there's going to be more money thrown at you, Lord. But also, too, for some of you guys in that particular situation, you're just like, you know what? That's cool. But it's not really what I want, right? It's not really what I want. And, you know, I got to look out for me. I mean, it's great, Tom, but, you know, thank you, but I got to go. Because you are in pursuit of not just financial freedom, but also your dream. Scorpio, that's really important here in this reading, too, is I feel like angels are saying, yeah, the money is fucking awesome. The money is fucking great. But how much is your dream worth? Right. Your dream is sitting here with the king of pentacles. So it's almost like if they're offering you queen of pentacles, ten of pentacles, seven of pentacles, seven plus one is eight of pentacles. You know what I mean? If they start adding to your pentacles, does that still measure up to your dream? Right. So be careful about, you know, again, just staying too long, right? Staying too long and not saying you can miss an opportunity, right? Because in the universe, everything comes back around. But be careful about being too rigid and um, overthinking and overdoing this. All right. See, King of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Nine of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Okay. Boy, I can't wait for Mercury to carry its ass on. All right, so let me continue to put out my um, second clarify. Yeah, you got to trust the process. What I'm hearing is like you staying is like putting your hand in that lion's mouth, right? And in the story, the lion is not supposed to bite, bite her hand off. But we don't know if that lion is well rested or full as in he's he's he or she is eaten well that's a male right it, that he's eaten right but she's trusting in who she is she's trusting in the universe she's trusting god and i feel like for that scenario where they're throwing money money at you to get you to stay it's almost like you're trusting the beast but at the end of the day it's still a beast right right like today what if she helps him and he's like oh you cool all right thanks shireen good job but then tomorrow when his ass is hungry, he may go after her ass. She going straight to heaven, first class, but uh, he may be the one to send it to her. So for a lot of you guys to keep you in that situation, it's going to take a lot. Not only just the strength of it, but also the trust as well. You got to trust in a beast that, by the way, you don't know if he or she is going to eat your ass. And I'm talking humans, he or she. Right? So, oh, ooh, angels just said, you, does your trust have an expiration date? Yeah, it does, angels. It does. From a human perspective, right? Like somebody you trust today, you may not necessarily be able to trust them tomorrow because every situation is different. Humans are finite, right? So we don't necessarily flow. Every now and then we get stuck and we stop. You know, so the flow becomes bare. You know what I mean? And some of us get thirsty. So if we, we're bare in a desert and water's not flowing and it's not available, yeah, the first person who comes along with a bottle of water, some of us may try to take out that person just to be fed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And, and angels just said to me too, is that what this situation is? Are they trying to keep you and hold on to you and throw more money at this at the situation until they get what they want from you and get what they want out of you. And the question is, Scorpio, are you going to sacrifice your dream for that um, for that position? And again, guys, that is for the scenario where they may try to pay you more money to keep you to stay. You're going to have to trust the situation. You're going to have to trust that after two months they may not get rid of. They may. Um, you're going to have to trust that after two months, they don't get rid of you because it's definitely possible. Somebody's like, put the other cards out, Alex. All right. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Three times judgment and the three of wands. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right. 
this is angels saying to you, look at this from all angles, right? Don't just look at it like, oh shit, they gave me $10,000 more. You know what I could do with that? Yeah, it looks like $10,000 more, but you know, another two months, it was only really, you know, 700. So does trust have an expiration date? Powerful message. Um, this to me, uno, dos, tres, right here, says, no, keep, keep going after your dream. Keep going after whatever you want. That's why you have the judgment card here one, two, three times. You know who's judgment energy? Mars. Aries and Scorpio, the Martians. Courage, courageous. We got that represented here with Leo, the lion, right? Courage, bravado, strength. Trust in the person making the offer or trust in the person hold the hand holding the cup. Ooh, deep reading. All right. One day I'm just going to give you guys a re regular vanilla with sprinkles on top reading. These are life-changing readings. Fuck it. Let's just keep doing them. So yeah, like what are you trusting in? What are you believing in? What are you hoping for? This page of pentacles, again, for some of you guys, if it's a new job, that's fine. But if you're, it's your existing job and they're trying to hold on to you or whatever the case is, you're going to need to make a decision. But the universe is like, nah, B, keep, keep um, going after your dreams. Keep looking forward. Notice that his back is to us. Why? Because he's looking forward. He or she is not looking back. They ain't got time. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Angels just said to me, that just means that a chapter is closing. Ooh, ooh. All right. I didn't expect all of that. <laughs> Sorry for the little sounds and noises, but this is interesting. You know what I just noticed too? Look at all these major arcanas in your clarifiers. That means that there is an energetic universal presence here, Scorpio, that is doing exactly that, which is what I said at the beginning guiding you right guiding you um so angels just said recap some of you guys again are financial and you're trying you're you're financially set you have a goal you're like good i came i saw i made what i had to make and i'm on my way all right all right y'all i'm gonna head out not only that but some of you guys too you do have a specific goal and a dream in mind to meet that perfect person that perfect that perfect position, that perfect, um, angels are also saying too, that also could mean humanitarian work, right? But let's keep it finite as in, let's make it very human, very, very relatable. Okay. So yeah, for a lot of you guys, um, now that you have reached your financial goal and yeah, you're leaving your job, you're going to start this business. Now it's like, okay, I got time to focus on my relationships. Let me call this guy back or this girl back. Right. Excuse me. Um, but to an extent, it's almost like, yeah, do you kind of pause? Like, yo, am I doing the right thing? The universe is like, y'all. <laughs> I love that. You know, the universe is also saying to you here, right? Judgment and also the high priest says, yo, is this the right thing to do? You sure? Like, you sure you're seeing this thing clearly, Scorpio? You sure you, sure you got that? You, you sure you're doing it? Scorpio's like, listen, I'm trusting in God. All right? Like, no, God says no. God says get the, get on. Okay, so I got to get on. And then they come back with um, to you with full force. You know what's crazy too? Angels just said, they don't give a fuck about you. Y'all know the four cups represents being apathetic and emotionally distant. They don't give a fuck about you or your goals, your dreams, or your desires, Scorpio. They don't. They just want you in your seat, logged on when you're supposed to have logged on. Fuck you and your dream. I just need you to do something so I can continue to get rich and, and be this conglomerate or mogul or Fortune 500 company. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, you do have another message coming in. Somebody's coming in to make you an offer, but do you trust that offer? Is the offer sincere? Does the offer show that they care about me? And remember, Angel said trust has an expiration date so they're coming in to make this offer not only that but baby that's the page it's not a huge offer it's just more money hey we'll give you your own parking spot bitch 
I ride a motorcycle. I don't need no goddamn parking spot. I can park wherever the hell I want. Right? Like, they're going to throw money at the situation. But do you trust it? Because he's your friend today, but tomorrow he may be your worst enemy. Oh, that is such a huge message. Angel just said to me for you, Scorpios, too, whether this is your scenario or not, be careful about the people who are smiling in your face today and, tr and acting like they're there for you today. Because, again, they may be your enemy tomorrow. Okay? And you need to make a decision because this has been going on for a while. Seven months, seven days. Started in July. You need to make a decision. Are you going to work with us? Or are you going to stand your ground and go? Universe is like, bye, bitch. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> Because here's the thing, you working for this company, people, whatever, baby, again, don't get it twisted, Scorpio. You're doing good financially. But this part, right? Your queen status, but your own personal dreams may bring you to the king status that you want. Not only that, ladies and gentlemen, you got the judgment card here too. That's the universe, the higher calling. Like, yo, Scorpio, follow your dream, follow your heart, whatever this is, right? Some of you guys, yeah, it could be taking the position and making the money. And then when you stack your money and they tell you, okay, we don't need you no more. Scorpio's like, deuces out, bitch. I done made enough where, yeah, I could do this on my, that's a, that's a possibility too. But this three of wands is like, it's the smallest card here, but it's the biggest card on the table. Cause this three of wands says to me, baby, no, keep going right? Keep looking forward, right? The three of wands represents waiting for your ships to come in, as in whatever it is that you're working on, whatever goal, whatever desire, waiting to get to this king of pentacles status. Scorpio, do that. It's just advice. Remember, you guys could do what you want. I ain't telling y'all to quit your six, seven figure job. I ain't telling you to do that. But I'm just saying to you, baby, you're moving on and moving away from it anyway. And you're happy about it, first of all. Can we talk about how happy you are? Because you know this is this is in your future. You can see it. You can tell. You just know what to do. A lot of you guys just needed me to come along and say, hey, Scorpio, yeah, you got to go. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Let's talk about who's on this table. Capricorn. Cancer. Cancer, Aquarius, Gemini, air signs here, Pisces, all of that's water, right? Sorry, Capricorn's earth. But you got Pisces, you got Pisces and Cancer, water. Judgment, Aries, fire, Scorpio, water. Leo, lion, fire, <laughs> right? Aries, Scorpio, um, fire and water. Taurus, earth. Aquarius, air, Aries, and Scorpio, um, fire and water, that Martian energy. You know, it's crazy too, because I feel like you start out like, okay, you did everything right. You submitted your two week notice. It's like, all right, you know, this person is going to handle my stuff going on. I have like a beautiful love, a beautiful connection, you know, this beautiful dream that I have in mind. I want to move forward with it. Okay, you got universal support and universal backing. Like, yo, you sure you're doing the right thing? Scorpio's like, uh, I think I am. You sure you could trust this situation? You sure, like, if they come back to you, um, yeah, you sure you're doing the right thing? But the judgment is like, yeah, because the universe is telling you. Not only that, but the high priestess is like, yeah, listen to your intuition. And the judgment is your message, right? Judgment is universe saying, yeah, uh huh, do the right thing. You know what you're doing. You're smart enough, Scorpio. And then these people come back on your way out and they're like, hey, but how about this? Scorpio's like, I'll think about it. And I also kind of feel like for a lot of you guys, while you're thinking about it, it still doesn't feel right. Something inside of your soul is like, nah, I can't do this. I can't do this no more. Because why? You know this is coming. You know this is coming, baby. And the three of wands is just saying, yo, Scorpio, first of all, for those of you who are leaving a job to start your own business or leaving a job to pursue other endeavors, you got three paths in front of you, 
So you have options. Okay. All right. Let me get these Angel Answers card out. Well, we're going to be here all night. 35, 30 going on 35 minutes. All right, Scorpio. It's your birthday. So I could do that. I could do that. Lord, listen to your intuition. <laughs> like you don't, Scorpio. Look. Perfect timing. Scorpio, you know. Y'all ever watch those um, long-standing TV shows like Seinfeld, Sex in the City? The Cosby Show didn't do it. And I'm not talking Bill Cosby as the person and what he's gone through, but I'm talking about the show. He didn't do it. But you ever notice about them shows like Seinfeld or Sex in the City as an example? They ended the show when the show was at its peak. And I forget who said that. I don't know if it was... It was either Jerry Seinfeld or um, David Letterman, but they was like, go out with a bang. Go out when you're still in demand. Don't overstay your welcome. The Cosby show overstayed their welcome, right? To the point, I think they actually got canceled, right? But this is exactly what you're doing. This is exactly what you're doing. You're going out on a high fucking note. That's why they coming back and throwing money at you. Because it's like... Okay, but Scorpio, you're an expert in your field and like you're the only one who knows how to do this and the way that you do it is so fucking amazing. Scorpio's like, uh-huh. And you know what, Bob? I'm getting ready to do that shit for myself with my own business. Boop! <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. The hand, the card drop was like, you know, for emphasis in dr drama. Okay? Um, ooh! Look at that! <sighs> I gotta go, Scorpio. Um, angels are saying when you leave whatever si this situation is, you will need time to detox. Yes, you will, Scorpio. Yes, you will. Anytime I ever leave a job, right, and not, you know, if I leave a job and don't have another job planned, I got to detox. I'm talking like get dunked in holy water, like, because you got to understand you were absorbing all of that energy all of the time that you were there. So you do need like that gap period where you relax, relate, and release. Maybe get you some hot, fiery, nasty sex. And, uh, you know, kind of recover from all of the trauma and all of the, you know, just wild energy that you've, you've absorbed. So Scorpio, yes, relax, baby. Boy, I, see, moonology. Moonology never lets me down. It's a time for healing. Detox, baby. Detox. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, Scorpio. Look. Emotions are running high. Why? Because they don't want you to go. Scorpio, these people are going to get mad at you. It's like, bitch, why don't you fucking stay? Why you got to have me? Uh, Scorpio, I'm begging you. All right? I don't beg nobody. I'm the fucking CEO. I don't beg nobody. But Scorpio, I'm begging you. Scorpio's like, okay, John, um, <laughs> angels just say you may not even show up on your last day for your celebratory lunch or your farewell lunch. Scorpio, y'all are so much. I can't, Lord, I tell you, moonology does not fail. A win-win outcome is forecasted. Last one. Believe in the impossible. Scorpio, this is a long as the end reading. But again, birthday, Scorpio birthday. And I love my Scorpios. Babies, this is an amazing reading. It really was. And I hope it, I hope it helped. If it does, if it provided you with clarity, y'all know, hit me up in the comments. And get ready for fucking Scorpio season because we doing this shit huge on my channel. Like I got, I'm getting t-shirts printed up. I have like a couple of sessions I'm going to plan. I'm thinking about like a mixer, an online mixer on Zoom. For, so, so for those of you guys who was talking about, oh, I'm having trouble meeting people, right? Like, this is going to be like a grown and sexy little electronic get together. So Scorpio, be on the lookout for that. Also, I'm on Instagram. I always forget to mention that. I am dot Alex dot Angel. I don't post a lot, you know, 
But if y'all want to follow me over there, yeah, go do that. And the merchandise that I'm going to be selling, I think it's going to be on Instagram too. Also, Scorpio, hit me up for your birthday readings. Like, let's do this shit fucking huge, okay? Um, get your birthday readings in. Um, the contact detail, my contact details are in the about section of my channel. AlexAngel07770 at gmail.com is my email. Hit me up there and put in the subject line, birthday reading, okay? So I can show y'all some love. Scorpio, I'm going to leave it here. Try, baby. We going into our solar first, solar first house, solar return, Scorpio season. One of them. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.